All right, hey everyone, KB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video of the CM9 Alpha ROM on your Motorola Photon 4G. It does have some bugs, I'll be going over those in this video. I do have a video showing you how to install it. The process is a little different than usual, so definitely check that out if you have a Photon. Big shout out and thanks to Jokers AX11. Big thanks to him. Very uh, intelligent de developer, be sure to thank him. Anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and run through the start screen. As you can see, brings you to the ice cream sandwich uh, start screen. I'm not going to sign into accounts, so you don't have to watch me do that. As you can see, ice cream sandwich keyboard, which is probably one of my favorite ones. It works very well. And uh, setup complete. As you can see up at the top, 3G is working. Everything works except for only a couple things. Um, I'll be going over that now as you can see um, what your things that aren't working is camera cameras uh, one of the main things that doesn't work I'm gonna go to it uh, can't connect to the camera so as you can see camera error camera does not work that's the main thing uh, 4g isn't gonna work so don't don't ask about that 4g does not work automatic brightness doesn't work which is no big deal HDMI landscape does not work uh, I believe your backlights um, Disregard that. Um, YouTube low quality does not work. You can only watch YouTube videos in high quality. Um, Cardock doesn't have, doesn't work. Uh, some 2D issues uh, and built-in video playback does not work. So use a third-party uh, application for that. But GPS works, uh, picture messaging works, text messaging works, calls works. Everything pretty much works except those things that I did mention. So other than that, this is Sinai Jamon Alpha, which is made to emulate stock ice cream sandwich on your device. So it's with just a couple other tweaks. So as you can see, stock ice cream sandwich launcher. Got your app drawer left and right, just like that. And you got your widgets as well. Wow, everything's very fast and snappy. I'm very impressed. Uh, this is working very well. But let's go ahead and check up at the top notification bar. As you can see, blue uh, clock right there, as well as the blue battery icon and nice 3G icon and blue signal bars right there. Um, go ahead and swipe down on the notification bar. Things included with signage of my 9, you got those uh, notification quick panel widgets so you can turn different things off, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS. Those are um, customizable. You can also go to your settings application when you press that right there. The notification bar is a little bit uh, transparent, as you can see, so a bit of a transparency to it. You can see through it. Um, you also, I'm going to go ahead and go to my settings, so I'm going to hit menu, go to system settings. As you can see, you got different options, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage, um, the launcher options, so trebuchet, I think that's how you pronounce it. So you got launcher options. Amount of home screens, so you got some home screen options, you got some couple drawer options, not too many. Um, dock options, you don't have any icons, I don't think you have any, and general auto rotate screen. So not too many options as of yet with CM9 uh, Alpha Alpha build, I don't think they have ported all their options to the ROM itself. I'm going to go to about phone, scroll down, as you can see Android version 4.0.3 which is the latest Android version, signage of mod right there, um, but that's it, uses the Joker kernel, big thanks to uh, Joker as I said earlier. That's about it, um, you have a bunch of different options with this ROM actually, as I said everything's pretty much working. I'm going to go ahead and try a test call right now, make, just to show you guys calls are working. Let's call Sprint. See what they have to say. Thank you for calling Sprint. Your service is now active. There you go. Service is active. So call works. Um, everything pretty much works. As you can see, stock ice cream sandwich lock screen with camera, which is useless right now, and unlock. Um, you also have, let's see what kind of apps in the app drawer. Anything special? So nothing really special, ROM manager, super user, obviously it's rooted, uh, dev tools as well. So you got those options. Another cool thing you can do with this ROM is actually make it force roam so you can have it roam, assuming you have bad uh, 3G data in your area. So what you do is go to menu system settings, go to more under wireless and networks, and then hit mobile networks, and then go to system select. And if you hit automatic, I believe it, 
it uh, chooses you to roam. If you have home only, it'll have you on Sprint's network. But before you hit automatic, hit check data roaming and hit OK. Data ro roaming uh, data is free on Sprint. Um, and then you can go to system select and hit automatic. What that's gonna do is actually take my 3G icon should go away and an R should pop up like so. And so I will be roaming on a different network using their data as well. So as you can see, I have data roaming checked. So um, if you uncheck that, you will be roaming still, but you cannot tech, uh, connect to data. So let's go ahead and make sure it works. I am roaming as well as connected to another network's data services. So I'm gonna refresh uh, this page. I'm gonna stop it and then I'm gonna hit refresh, see if google.com can load up. Okay, so as you can see, web page not available. I'm not sure if that's because my roaming network isn't very good or not. It should be working. I believe it, it there it goes. So now it's working. Um, as you can see, right up there, it still says R roaming. I am roaming on someone else's data network, another carrier's data network. So keep that in mind. As you can see, Google works. Um, Google.com works anyway. But that's about it. Um, you can force uh, force roam, which is actually really cool. I really like that in case you have terrible signal whatsoever. I'm gonna hit menu. I'm gonna change my wallpaper, see if they have the phase beam wallpaper, which I really like. They have a couple other ones, black hole bubbles, hollow spiral, those new ice cream sandwich ones. But I'm gonna go to phase beam, set wallpaper. There you go. So overall, everything's very fast, very snappy. If you don't need your camera, I highly recommend this round. That's pretty much the main thing. GPS will work. Pretty much everything works except uh, if you don't need 4G or your camera, then definitely check out this uh, CM9 Alpha ROM. I will be keeping you updated as more updates come for this ROM. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe to me. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment on the video. I'll be happy to hear from you guys what you think of this ROM. Everything's really fast, running really well. So definitely something you're going to want to check out, uh, especially if you haven't checked out Ice Cream Sandwich yet. So as I said, subscribe to me, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be down in the description. Be sure to uh, give this video a thumbs up as well, and thank you for watching.